Okay, let's revise uh, statistics, a bit of statistics now. The results of a group of students taking a pull-up test is shown in the table below. So, um, normally a table like this, uh, how do you read a table like this? The first uh, row here shows the data. Data, it can be like pull-ups, number of pull-ups, the height, the weight, the mass, so on and so forth. Okay, And the second row here will show the number of people or things that has the value of this data okay now uh, whether they ask you to find the mean mode or the median uh, the mean mode and the median right refers to the data all right not the number of students unless they specifically ask you for the number of students uh, okay yeah so in this question when they say calculate the mean num uh, calculate x x is the number of students if the mean is 3 so the mean refers to this 3 okay the data all right similarly uh, the median here is 1 it refers to this one okay and uh, mode mode 3 uh, refers to this one not this one okay the mode median and the mean refers to the data all right that's the first thing you need to know. Huh? Okay, now let's see how, before we do these three parts, right? Let us see how we can do this question. Um, this means uh, three students, three students uh, has the ability to do only zero push-up. That means they can only do zero push-up, uh, uh, pull-up, sorry. Okay, so these three students can only do zero push-up. That means they cannot do any lah. Uh. Okay, then there are X students who can do only one pull up. So how many uh, students uh, X refers to, we don't know. Okay, it can be one, it can be more than one, we don't know. But if you ask them, uh, hey, how many pull up can you do? They will tell you, I can only do one, 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 so on and so forth. Okay, same thing, these five students can only do two pull ups. Okay. So, can you see that the data is arranged according to uh, ascending order from smallest to biggest? Now, this is important uh, uh, for later, okay? Now, calculate x. The means I only will find x if the mean of mean number of pull-up is x. So, what does uh, mean mean? Mean means uh, average, okay? So, how do I find average? I actually have to take the data, add up all the data. That means 0 plus 0 is 0, 3 times, plus 1 plus 1, blah, 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 x times, plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, 5 times, so on and so forth. Huh? Then, divided by total number of students, right? 3 plus x plus 5 plus 8 plus 6 plus 7. Okay? And that will be equals to uh, 3. So, what you need to do is the mean mean equals to 3 that means that 0 times 3 or 3 times 0 you can uh? 0 times 3 plus 1 times x that's x plus 2 times 5 plus 3 times 8 plus 4 times 6 plus 5 times 7 like that right divided this are divided by the total number of students which is 3 plus x plus 5 plus 8 plus 6 plus 7 must be equal to this okay so if you were to work it out you will get this one i simplified a bit already and then if i were to add the denominator and the numerator i add this i add this the x cannot be added so the x remains huh then i cross multiply when you cross multiply, you must put brackets. Huh? Then you get 3x. 3 times 29, you get 87. Okay. Then when you work out minus x both sides, you get 2x. Minus 87 both sides, you get this. Then you divide throughout by 3, you get this. Uh, by 2, you get this. Okay. So that is worth 2 marks in the exam. Okay. So I hope you know what mean is already and how to calculate mean when it is in this table form. Alright, now the next one is a little bit harder. It is um, median. Okay, median. Now, median 
actually it's very easy one but uh, because of the way the question is being phrased uh, like that uh, they make the unknown here right um, so firstly you need to know that the median is the middle data and what's the data here that we're talking about is the number of pull-ups middle number of pull-ups huh? we're not talking about the number of students okay we're talking about the uh, data which is the number of pull-ups so i repeat uh, whether it's mean median or mode we're talking about the data all right okay so smallest possible value of x if the median number of pull-up is one now what is median median is very simple if i have an example simple one uh, uh, the first guy can do one pull up only the second guy can also do one pull up only the third guy can do two the fourth guy can do three the fifth guy can also only do three let's say there are only five guys huh? or five students what is the median the median is the number of pull up right and it is the the data that is at the middle so there are five people right five you split it into two it be two here two here then there's one guy here so it's the third guy this value here the third guy the number of uh, pull-ups that he can do is called the median so the median for this is two okay but let's say i have now another guy another guy he can also only do three uh, but now we have six people already we have six people if I were to split six people into two, there'll be three here, three here, then there's a hantu, right? The middle guy actually is not there one because three are here already, three are here. So actually there's nobody standing right in the middle. So I call this guy the hantu la, or the ghost. Okay? So how do I find the value of this ghost? You see, ah? One, two, three, three of you, one group. One, two, three, three of you, one group. So the median ah, actually is this guy here, the ghost, with the middle value. But there's, there's actually nobody here. So how do you find this middle value of number of pull-ups? You take the average. Average. You take this value plus this value, then you divide by 2. That will give you 2.5. Okay? So that is the way you do median. Okay? This is just an example to help you understand the concept of median. Now. Okay, now we do the actual question. How do I do this question? I recommend, uh, you see, they want to find the smallest possible value of x. Okay, so what I recommend you do is to draw a seesaw. They say that the median value of, uh, a median number of pull-up is 1. So you draw a seesaw with the middle at 1, 1 pull-up. So median means uh, there's a middle guy here and this middle guy here when you ask him hey what's the number of pull up you can do he will tell you oh i can do one one uh, correct and then the number of people to his left and the number of people to his right must be the same correct that's what we call the middle guy that's why he's at right the center so can you see that to the left there are three students here we don't talk about x students first huh? to the right there are five plus 8, plus 6, plus 7 students here. Correct? Okay, now, the difficult thing is, uh, there are X students here. I, I put one right in the middle already. Where are the rest of the X minus 1 students going to be? For example, uh, for example, if X equals 10, right? If X equals... <coughs> for example, if X equals 10, uh, I put one student here already. How many students are left? It must be 10 minus 1, right? Uh, so, if I talk in terms of algebra, there are x people here. I put 1 here. There must be x minus 1 people left. Uh, so, what am, I, uh, what am I asking you is, should these x minus 1 people stand here? Or should they stand here to make this the smallest? Okay? So, common sense will tell you they should stand on the left. Why, uh? Uh, because there are uh, uh, a lot of people here there are a lot of people here okay 
if I stand here, there will be even more people here. Okay, there will be even more people here and uh, they won't be able to balance out 3. You will find that you get x equals negative. Okay, or you get x are uh, not the smallest but the greatest. Alright, so they should actually stand here. Alright, x, x minus 1 should be here. So that is the smallest to balance out this one. Okay, now in the exam, if you are not sure, you try making them stand here. If it's not the smallest, then you make them stand here. Okay, uh, this question is difficult because the median happens right at the x. Alright, if it doesn't happen at the x, huh, later I show you, then it's much easier. Okay, so I'm going to show you now how to do this question. Huh? Okay, so uh, I continue here, okay. Do you agree that the x minus 1 people must stand here? If you don't agree, later you go and try this side, then you'll find that, oh yeah, it must be this side. Huh? Okay, so I'm going to use this center, right, as my equal sign. Because equal sign is the center, whatever is on the left must be equal to whatever is on the right, right? Okay, so when I add this up, uh, I'll get x plus 2 on the uh, left side, 3 minus 1 is 2. Then this one, when I press calculator, I will get 26. Okay, then minus 2 both sides, I'll get x equals to 24. So this is the minimum x. Alright, so that's how you do it. Now, uh, if now uh, I change the question a little bit, right, a little bit, huh? I change the question a little bit. It's still 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But now, now the x, uh, let's say it's 3. The x, let's, uh, the x, uh, let's say I change it to here. Then uh, the rest is 6, 7. Then this one, uh, let's say I change it to... Uh, 1 then this one is 2 okay so now if I ask you the so called the same question uh, find the minimum value of x if uh, 1 is the median okay Wait, let me see ah. okay this one cannot be this one has to be 4 then this has to be let's say 13 Yeah, thirteen. Oh, cannot. It has to be let's say twenty three lah. Huh? Example twenty three. All right. So this is the data that you are given. Now, can you try first and see uh, what is the answer? Okay. Okay, so assuming you have tried already, uh, now this is the uh, so-called data given to you, right? Okay, then you know that 1 is the median. Now, 1 refers to what? I told you median refers to the data. Data is not the number of people or the number of things, uh, but the, quanti uh, the quantity that we're talking about here, which is the number of pull-ups so one is the median okay so one is the median value so I must put my seesaw middle uh, right here okay right here that means there must be one person standing here all right we check it out later uh, whether that's true okay uh, and to the, that means there are four people here, actually there are four people here, right? One maybe is standing here already. Then these people, 
23 of them has to be here and this 2 plus x 2 plus x plus 6 plus 7 people must be here right okay so now i ask you uh there's already one person standing here okay where should the other three person be standing because there are actually four people who has uh, the ability to do one pull up right okay so your x is here you want this to be the minimum should you put these three people here huh? same side as this x or should you put these three people here if you think about it huh? okay the answer is you should put these three people here why because if these three people are here that means there'll be 26 23 plus 3 is 26 right 26 then your this x has to be bigger in order to balance out these 23 people are uh, 26 people but if if i put it on the right side which is the correct working then these three people will be here these three people help you balance out these three people here so there will only be 20 here for your x to balance out okay so enough of talking i just put these three people here okay then i show you what i mean huh? so why three because one already standing here the middle guy okay so you put this as an equal sign and 23 you write here uh this is 3 plus 2 plus x plus 6 plus 7 you press calculator you will get 5 11 18 uh so your minimum x uh, will be uh, 23 minus 18 uh, that would be uh, 5 okay that will be 5 sorry alright now let me now show you uh, if you had done it wrongly uh, if just now you don't know right you don't know where to put these 3 people you know one person must be standing right in the middle uh. you don't know whether to put these 3 people here or these 3 people here to get the minimum right then you just try lor. you just try in the exam ah. you put 3 here you see what's the value you get then now you put 3 here then you see which one is the smaller one the smaller one is your answer then you cancel the other working okay so i show you what i mean ah. the one person here three person here that's why i add up to four okay then the middle one you put equal 23 plus 3 that's all the number of people on the left right then on the right, we have 2 plus x plus 6 plus 7. Okay, let's work this out. Huh? This will be 26. This will be 15. Wow. You see, you minus 15 both sides, you get 11. Ah, you see? Can you see? You compare this. Just now you put these three people on the right. Where are the three people? I cancel off already. Huh? Okay. Just like you put these three people on the right, you get this answer, right? Then now you put the three people on the left, you get this answer. So you in the exam, you know that this should be the correct one. This is if they ask you for maximum. Okay, then this is correct. Uh, but now this is wrong. Okay, so in the exam, if you're not sure, actually you use common sense reasoning, uh, especially those who take physics, right? Uh, principle of moment uh, this is exactly principle of moment what I'm doing here okay but if you don't know in the exam you just try an error uh. alright then you cancel the one that's wrong answer okay now next we are going to the last part of the question which is very easy one uh. they say write down the largest possible value of x so ignore this value of x ignore this value of x this is another value of x if the mode is 3 now what is the meaning of mode you know median already you know um, mean already you know mean already yeah huh? so what is this uh, mode okay mode uh, in our like singaporean language is like hey 
most students most students get can do how many pull up ah? most students can do how, how many pull up ah? Ah, so in this question right they are trying to tell you most students ah, can do three pull ups okay so most students can let's look at the number of pull up ah, pull up three most students can do three pull ups it means what ah? it means that this number eight ah, eight students right is the highest number in this whole row nobody else should be eight you see the highest nearest to it is seven because if i'm eight you are eight then i i got eight students can do three pull up i got eight students can do five pull ups then i don't have a mode ready i don't have the most number ready okay so this x the greatest number has to be seven finish ready it's a reasoning kind of question whether you understand mode or not okay yeah so now um i give you another question similar question huh? if let's say now same thing zero one two three four five uh this ten this number of students huh? hey, oh, sorry uh, this is uh, let's say eleven this is students number of students this is the number of pull ups then this is 7 14 uh, x uh, 15 uh, sorry not 15 uh, 8 okay so now if i were to ask you uh, or if i were to tell you the mode the mode uh, is uh, 3 the mode is 3 if mode equals 3 what is the maximum value of x x is here right huh? uh, but the mode mode refers to what mode refers to the number of pull ups the data oh this one so they are trying to tell us uh, that these 14 students are uh, is the highest number that means most number of students are uh, can only do three pull ups so can this be greater than or equal to 14 cannot this one cannot you know cannot 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 so this highest value must be 13 one less okay that's it all right huh? uh, if i were to ask you for range range or possible range huh? possible range of values of x then how that means x can be what value to what value so x cannot cannot be uh equals to 14 right so it must be less than 14 okay but when you write that uh, it means can be 14 13 okay uh, sorry sir not 14 can be 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 zero minus one minus two minus three can be negative right uh, but number of students cannot be negative right? so you have to say is greater or equal to zero can be equals to zero okay but cannot be equals to 14 all right so that's a difficult one uh, but let's say now we don't use this example anymore uh. i come back to here and that's the last part and ending the video already if now i uh, use the same question uh, find the range of values of x if mode is equals to uh, same thing like three uh. okay then what would be your range range uh, means must have the inequality sign one okay uh, so i ask you can x be equals to eight cannot write it must be less than eight uh, but if you write like that, uh, it means it can go 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, all the way to negative infinity. So, cannot. It must be greater than 0 or it can be 0. Uh, it can be nobody can do one pull up in the number of students that you so-called surveyed. Uh, okay?